come on guys, you go to the five knives. I wanted to kind of have a little talk with you today, kind of explain a few things that we're focused on. Um, you know, I'm sure some of y'all, or most of y'all know this thing, have been kind of back and forth with me for quite a while now, you know, shut the shop down and trying to get the new shop up and dropping knives here and adding knives there. And, um, just want to kind of lay a few things straight because a lot of people, you know, seem to have gotten the impression that I'm just going to stop making knives for some reason when I when I announced that I was going to uh, dwindle the line down, not put out so many different models and uh, concentrate on, on some other ones. So once, you know, I'm definitely not stopping. Um, I'm actually trying to ramp up to do more. Uh, the ones that, you know, that made the final cut, you know, I'm keeping the Mako. Um, that's always been pretty popular. Raven, that's not going anywhere either. Um, most of y'all by now are familiar with the PTK. That's that's staying. Um, as a matter of fact, that's kind of developed into a second knife as well, the PTK2, which is uh, instead of being 3 16ths and a 5 inch blade, it's going to be 5 32 and a 4 and a half inch blade. Um, Um, the feral wood grafter, that's still, still in the works, um, that will be available in the near future, uh, still, it's still in testing basically, uh, I'm actually supposed to be getting that knife back to change the grind on it, uh, slightly aggressive to something uh, not quite as aggressive, and the black lord. Uh, I've had a lot of questions on that. Um, I hope to address those in this video as well. And then the final knife rounding out, what I'm going to be offering is going to be a Skookum style knife. Um, it's basically, it's going to be as close to a, a exact replica as, as one can get, is at least what I'm shooting for. Um, I've got a blank done, I've got the bevel grinded, I've got a uh, I'll actually be doing a heat treat on that tomorrow and uh, start scales on it and see what happens. Uh, I'm kind of excited about that one. So while I've got y'all's attention, I'm just going to kind of go over specs on knives. Um, you know, I'm going to start with, with the Mako. Most of y'all, I'm sure, are familiar with this. I mean, it's, it's been around for quite a while. Um, it's going to be the specs on it. It's uh, eighth inch O1 tool steel. It's uh, two and three quarter inch blade. When it's uh, about, we'll say seven inches. It's actually about six to seven eighths overall. Um, Scandy ground. Uh, they used to be ground to zero. I am actually going away from that. All Scandy, uh, Scandy ground edges uh, are technically now going to be a, uh, a Scandy vex. It's going to have a very minor micro convex bevel. Um, it's just, since that first one I did, it's just, it changes the way the knife performs so much. It's nowhere near as aggressive unless you want it to be. Um, it, it's a lot easier to control. Um, you know, it, the Scandi is my favorite grind. But it takes a lot of getting used to for, for a lot of people. Um, so, I mean, it's just, to me, it's just, it, it makes it so much better for everybody. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. I mean, me, me personally, I, I've fallen in love with that grind. So, um, comes with a, you know, Kydex neck sheet. What I'm also doing now is it's identical specs. Uh, Kydex as well, just core wrap handle, and nothing, nothing real fancy. Um, core wrap, they're going to be going for eighty-five dollars. That is including shipping. Um, on the scales, one twenty. That includes shipping as well. Um, for y'all that have not seen it, this was the prototype actually ended up being the prototype of the prototype um, for the Feral Wood Crafter. Uh, little slight incident, 
when I was making this one on the grinder. Um, it's actually going to have, it's got a, a recurve here at the back, um, and this one does not due to a, a like I said, a little, little incident. Um, quick rundown on specs. Obviously, like I said, this is not, not finalized, um, but the dimensions shouldn't change regardless. Uh, it's eighth inch O1 tool steel, four and a quarter inch blade, and it's about nine and an eighth overall. Um, uh, haven't quite settled on a price on these because, like I said, you know, it's not, it still could transform into something different than what it is right now. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. I mean, it's, so far, I'm, you know, the feel of the knife, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually liking it a lot. You know, the scallops, thumb scallops, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm digging on that too. I know that one thing we're going to do is we're going to thin the, uh, we're going to thin the scales down slightly, probably take about an eighth inch off of it. But uh, anyways, that'll come in a future video, you know, with full details. Don't have a raven to show. Um, I've got a blank that I'm working on that I'm going to be sending out for uh, for a review. But quick rundown, just basic specs: 5/32nds O1 tool steel. It's a four and a half inch blade, nine and a half inches overall. Um, price on these, and I mean I've got pictures posted all over uh, every group that I'm in on Facebook. Um, there's quite a few pictures on. Uh, Uh, Black Color Knives Facebook page. Uh, you know, price on these 150 bucks. That's no sheet. You want a sheet with it? You know, a, a basic bushcraft style leather sheet. And the knife is going to run you 185 dollars. All right, the PTK. Um, that's the original, you know, the, the PTK-1, or I, I don't know exactly what, you know, just the PTK. 5-inch uh, blade, it's 316 one tool steel, 10 inches overall. Um, they're going to come either in with a, a Scandi grind. Again, all Scandis are going to come with a micro convex. Um, so, again, Scandi vex. Uh, or flat grind. Um, you know, for this particular knife, it just, those two grinds really, to me, just suited. I mean, I've, I've used both of them, both grinds with this knife. Um, I did a saber grind, or, and, eh, just kind of didn't like it. Just didn't quite, felt more like a utility knife, which, I mean, this knife is basically, a, a, it's a wood juice knife. Uh, I would put it in the survival knife uh, class. Um, but will it handle any of the other tasks you can throw at it? Absolutely. I uh, carried mine for about three weeks, and I did everything with it. Uh, the only the reason I stopped carrying it because it was just a little too much to EDC. So I don't have a PTK2 completely done, but I do have this ready for heat treat. Just well, just about. Um, you know, there's only half an inch difference between them. Handles are identical. Um, it's just a, like I said, the five inch is three sixteenths. The PTK two is five thirty seconds, um, and that will be available in the same grinds. The PTK is runs two hundred bucks. That's with no sheet. If you want a sheet with it, runs two fifty. The four and a half inch, the PTK2, is going to run, oh, $160 for knife only. If you want a sheath with it, $200. Um, these are, you know, because I already have the design for the, for the full size one, you know, the, these are ready to go. If you want one, let me know, you know, we'll, we'll square up and, you know, get it done. Matter of fact, so far, I mean, the only... Everything I'm going to show you, unless I say otherwise, is ready to go. This is one that I'm kind of excited about. 
it's this particular one is not spot on. It's going to change slightly in, in the belly of the handle. Um, I mean, everybody knows what this is. I mean, if you, if you, you know, follow knives at all, you know, it's it's plain, plainly a, a Skookum style knife. Um, I don't have any idea what these are going to run yet. Um, I'm right now it's 150 between 150 and 200 dollars um, until I get a final one done it's just kind of up in the air right now now this one I have had a tremendous amount of questions about this is the black lore yeah, it's just a traditional wood lore style knife uh, eighth inch O1 tool steel, Scandi Vector Grind. Um, it is four inch blade, nine inches overall. Uh, I have gone back and forth in my head so many times over the last week on what I'm going to charge for these knives. I don't want to price them too low that I just undercut the crap out of myself. I don't want to charge too much. Like I said, I've just gone back and forth. So what I've settled on is 170 bucks with no sheet. If you want a sheet, it's going to run you $210. Now one thing I'm going to mention, I don't know if you can see it on this one because it's, you know, I beat the living snot out of this thing for the last week. I've actually, I've tried breaking the edge on this with the Scandi Vex. I have yet to do it and I mean I've literally drilled this knife through a, a, a two inch piece of wood the other day. Um, anyways, like I said, 170 bucks. With no sheet, 210 with a sheet. Now what I'm gonna do, and this is this knife only. You know, this is only for the black war. For the next two weeks, if you want to order a knife, if you want to order one of these black wars, knife and sheath for 170. Like I said, that's two weeks, you know, only. Today's 29th, so two weeks from today. Um you know, right now I do have approximately about a 90 day backlog. Um, so uh, I do ask for 25% deposit. Um, but yeah, 170 bucks for knife and sheath for two weeks. After that, for knife and sheath, it's going to run 210. Just to give you an idea on the on the leather shoes, I don't make these myself. I just can't seem to find time. Um, this is I don't know how well you can see that, but this is one from the BTK. Um, you know, it's just a classic style sheet. Uh, Victor does a great job on these. Um, you know, if you want any different options? I'm sure you know other than just a basic sheet. I'm sure we can work something out. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll just put you in with him, put you in contact with him. But as of right now, Victor's going to be doing all the leather because I just can't seem to make the time to, to do the knives and and the and the sheets and get them out, you know, in a uh, quick quick time. And there's one more. Some of y'all may have seen the pictures on this side. You know, I, I posted them on, on the Black Feather page, um, and I posted them in Wolf Customs. This is the Netmuck. Yeah, it's kind of weird saying that, but you know, it's pretty suiting. Obviously, this is a, a neck knife. Um, I guess you can put a pocket clip on there if you wanted to and carry it in your pocket. Um, eighth inch on tool steel. I uh, don't know what the blade length is. That is about one and seven eighths, and four and three quarter 
Small Kydex sheet, just a fold over, but yeah, it fits in there. Pretty decent. Uh, these are going to run $65, which is going to include shipping. Um, the prices only this one and the Mako's include are have shipping included. So I think that about rounds it out. The only other thing I want to mention is from this day forward, um, if you have any issues with your knife, you know, I make mistakes. You know, sometimes I rush, trying to, you know, do too many things at one time. And, I mean, it's a fact of life. Everybody makes mistakes. So, if you have an issue with your knife, you're going to have to send the knife back. I'm going to have to inspect the knife. And at that point, as long as it's not blatantly obvious that you have done something stupid, if I have one, I'll send it to you. If I don't have one, I'll make it and send it to you. But all knives from now until eternity are going to have to come back before I send out a replacement knife. Um, you know, that's pretty much what everybody else does, so I'm just going to fall in line. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much sums that one up. Anyways, guys, uh, I think that's about all I have for now. Um, as I get these done, as I get one done for myself, because I, I, every time I make a knife for myself, it ends up being given away or something. It goes away for some reason or another. Um, I'm going to do individual reviews, um, not from the shop. You know, it'll be out in the field. You know, there's not a knife that I make that I have not used. Um, I blatantly, you know, to put it bluntly, I beat the shit out of all my knives. You know, I, if it's going to break, I want it to break on me. If there's a flaw in it, I want to find it. Um, the last thing I want is for somebody else to find it. So if I can find it, I can correct it here and make necessary changes. Um, that way I can give you all the best, the best I can. So, anyways, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for their support. Um, y'all, man, y'all kept me busy. Is y'all kept me plenty busy. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Take care.